Welcome to our channel. Today we will perform the static analysis of a hook assembly. The main objectives of this SOLIDWORKS simulation is to learn to define the interactions between different parts of an assembly and to evaluate the stresses and deformations at assembly level as well as at component level. You will also learn how to define different types of boundary conditions or fixtures. For example, we will fix this part, this phase and we will fix the movement of these components along Z and the Y axis. Similarly, we will apply geometry reference fixtures on this faces. So, if we go to the problem statement, that this hook assembly is fixed at this face and the load of 17,000 kilonewton, sorry, newton is applied on this face. So first of all, download this 3D model of hook assembly from link given in the video descriptions. After that, go to SOLIDWORKS add-ins and add SOLIDWORKS simulations premium module. Okay, simulation modules has been added here. You can see, click on simulations and click on new study. Give it a specific name that is hook assembly analysis. Select static from simulation type. Okay. Now, our first step is to assign material to all these three parts. So, hook 1, hook 2 and the length 1. So, right click on the parts, go to apply, apply material to all and select apply steel then apply and close so you can see that last steel has been assigned to each part of the hook assembly now go to mesh and we will define curvature by base mesh right click on mesh and Click on create mesh and from advanced options, so sorry from mesh parameters select curvature based mesh and keep the element sizes by default. Okay, so wait until mesh generated please subscribe and share our channel for more sidewalks as well as anxious tutorials if you have any query you can ask us in comments so you can see the mesh has been generated now Define interactions 
between this hook and the link and this hook and this loop so the connections go to component interactions click here and here is the global interactions edit definitions you can see that there are three types of interaction bonded contact free so currently bonded contact has been defined for this assembly bonded means that each component is welded with another components so we will select contact type instead of bonded and we will keep other values default green check okay it says that the gap options are changed so please remesh to count for these changes okay we can remesh again create mesh that is the curvature based mesh so it increase the mesh size that is 32 wait until mesh ready completed okay so now go to fixtures select fixed geometry and select fixed geometry type check this face and apply again go to fixtures fixed geometry from here Go to advanced options and select on flat faces from advanced type and select this face of the link so constrain its movements and extractions for in this directions and in normal to screen in z directions so we will apply the translational constraints to this link component okay now we will apply geometry reference based fixtures again go to fixtures Then from advanced options, select use reference geometry and select this cylindrical face and for directions, select the top plane. So restrict the movement along direction 2 and also restrict the movement along direction normal to the planes okay so you have applied three types of fixtures first is fixed geometry other on flat faces and third is reference geometry now our last step is to apply a force of 17000 newton so click on this face change the directions of force enter its value normal reverse the directions okay so force of 17000 newton has been applied now run your simulation now you can see the convergence plot history so simulation has been completed now I will check our results from the last tab, click on stresses and 
added definitions select unit to megapascal to floating so you can see the maximum one major stresses value are 312 megapascal and this stress value is very less than the yield strength of the material that is 620 megapascal that means your design or your component has capacity to bear the load of 17000 newton and your component is in safe conditions so similarly you can check the displacement you can see the maximum deformation is 1.036 mm animate these deformations just increase the scale value to understand its realizations animate now you can see that this link component is moving only in this directions because we have apply constraint to normal to screen and in the y directions similarly you can see here that this component is only moving in the exact directions because we have applied the constraints in y direction as well as normal to screen and this component is fixed you can also check the stresses stresses at component level so if we want to check the stresses on this component right click on results tab and define stress plot again and from chart up, go to advanced options and show plot only on selected entities from here select the bodies for the plot select this and also click on show minimum and maximum annotation or values see the maximum stress values on this part is 311 megapascal so we hope you enjoyed this mission tutorials if you have any query you can ask us in comment box and please subscribe and share our videos thank you for your time Take care.